Good. Let me see those hands come up. Good morning, Rockets. Oh, it was like in a round. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it is great to be in God's house today. And we have some beautiful songs of praise. Before we begin, I want to focus our minds and remind us who it is that we praise. So we're going to go to a slide in the song Christ is All that you're very familiar with. Praise, praise to the Lord above. Let's try that part of the song. I'll sing, you can sing it back to me. Praise, praise to the Lord above. Ready, go. Praise, praise to the Lord above. Now we're going to walk this one up as we sing about God's Son and His love. It's that big moment. Praise to God's Son and praise for God's love. Go. Praise for God's Son and praise for God's love. Very good. That's who we praise. Next part. Praise to praise for God's word that shows the way. Ready, go. Praise for God's word that shows the way. We walk it up. Praise and thanksgiving on this day. Ready, go. Praise and thanksgiving on this day. Awesome. As we get ready to sing in God's house, I want you to hear one more part so you're not caught off guard so that when we sing, you're just singing to the Lord and about him. If you are in kindergarten, first, second, and third grade, some of you are in your rooms, some of you are here, you have the part, Christ is already, do, do that with me. Christ is all, hands up, and in all. Christ is in our lives, hallelujah. Now, we are gonna layer this worship of Christ. Clara, our eighth grader, is going to sing the solo. Then we're all going to sing the part you just sang. But then the third layer that those kids in the back, fourth, sixth, and eighth, they're going to sing some extra hallelujahs. Don't get distracted by them. You ready? Fourth, sixth, and eighth. Okay, ready? We are going to take the Christ is all. You come in on the hallelujahs. Here we go. Christ is all. Hallelujah. And in all. Hallelujah. Christ is in our lives. Hallelujah. Now you know how it will sound. Let's sing it in worship. Stand, please. In your classrooms as well. Clara leads. Good morning. It's great to be with you this morning. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Let's try it one more time. God is good. And all the time, that is right. We are here today to worship and praise our Lord and Savior. And we'll have Jack light the candles as we say the liturgy that we have before us. Please say it with me if you, as you can read. As we light the candles... 
we remember what Jesus said, I am the light of the world. We remember we need a savior. If we walk in the light, the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. We remember God's word to us. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light unto my path. We make our beginning this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We all know this by now. Ready? Nice and loud. Praise God. Praise Praise him in his holy temple in the firmament of his power. Praise him with the blast of trumpet, with lyre, with harp, with timbrel, and dance. Praise God! Praise him with strings and organs and with loud resounding cymbals. Praise God! Let everything that has breath praise him. Praise God! Oh, I think the angels love that this morning up in heaven. Okay? Scripture reading? Sarah, two short passages. This morning's scripture reading comes from Mark 9, verse 23, and Matthew 19, verse 26. All things are possible for one who believes. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is possible, but with God all things are possible. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. (laughs) That's all right. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There we go. You may be seated. You may be seated at this time. Well, I don't know if you looked at those two passages or heard those two passages, but they're kind of, they're very similar. One said, all things are possible for one who believes. And then the other one was, the other one was, um, with God, all things are possible. I've lived in the state of Ohio now for almost 38 years, over 38 years. Some of you have been here for your entire lives, especially if you're little, but some of the adults have been here. I don't know if you know what the state motto is for Ohio. Who knows what the state motto is for Ohio? Do you know? The state motto for Ohio. Anybody know? Well, you're going to learn it today. Because here's what it is. It's amazing. When I found this out, I was amazed. Here's what it is. It's one of our Bible verses that we read today. With God, all things are possible. Did you know that? How many of you knew that? Now you know. Now you know. Our state motto is with God, all things are possible. Think about that. With God, all things are possible. I want to talk to you a little bit about some some of those kinds of things. With God, all things are possible. About a hundred years ago, there was a man by the name of Robert Ripley. Anybody ever heard of Robert Ripley? Okay, and then there was a television show that came out, and and I think if you kind of turn into some old television, you might find Ripley's Believe It or Not. Right? Ripley's Believe It or Not. And Ripley's Believe It or Not museums are all over the nation. They're in Florida and Texas and California and Niagara Falls. They're all over the place. And if you go into these Ripley's Believe It or Not, you walk through these museums and you see all these incredible things that you kind of go, hmm, I wonder if that's really true. I don't know if I believe that or not. Well, let's just kind of review some of those things. All right, here we go. You ready? Do you believe this or not? Cats have 32 muscles in their ears. Stop, stop. It's a fact. Cats have 32 muscles in their ears. All right, here's the next one. Do you believe this or not? In 2011, 
there was an inventor by the name of Andrew Schneider who invented a solar swimsuit that covered that was covered with solar panels so that and it had the capability of charging all of your electronic devices. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Who says yep? All right. That's true. That's true. I saw a picture of it. So Ripley's believe it or not? Yep, I believe it. Here you go. How about this one? Your bones are made up of 31% of water. Thumbs up? That's true. Yep. Here's a good one. I don't know if you'll believe this one or not. A dollar bill. It's pretty thin, right? You know that your the thinnest skin on your body is your eyelid, and it's thinner than a dollar bill. Do you believe that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I see a lot of thumbs up. Believe it. It's true. Ripley's believe it or not. It's true. Here we go. Here's another one. There's a man in Norton Shores, Michigan, who decided he was going to renovate his house. When he started renovating his house, he started digging in the yard, and when he dug into the yard, he found over 150 bowling balls buried in his backyard. You believe that? Yep, that's true. Ripley's believe it or not. Okay, now, how about this one? Now we're not in Ripley's Believe It or Not anymore. Here's some stories from Scripture. You ready? In 2 Kings 2, 23 and 24, it talks about a bald guy who is being made fun of by children, and Elisha cast a spell on he, 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 he cursed them, and two bears came out of the woods and attacked the children. Hmm. That, that could be a Ripley's believe it or not, but you know what? That's true. That's in Scripture. Second Kings. This one I know you know. I, I'm sure you've heard of this one before. Balaam was walking down the road, and an angel appeared in front of him. Balaam didn't see, put your hands down. Balaam didn't see the angel, but you know who did? The donkey he was riding on. And the donkey stopped because the angel was blocking the road. And, and Balaam got out, and he started beating the donkey. And the donkey all of a sudden turned around and said, what are you doing? Talk to him. Said, what are you doing? Why are you beating me? Don't you see the angel? That could be a Ripley's Believe It or Not, but that's a true story. God made the donkey talk. How about this one? This one, you know, could be a Believe It or Not story. So Jesus went to his friend's house, Mary and Martha, only to find out that his friend Lazarus had died three days earlier. And Mary and Martha were sobbing and weeping, and they were, they, they were sobbing and weeping, and they were upset, and they were, they were kind of like, What's, you know, what happened here? How did our brother die? And, and they said, Lord, can't you please bring him back? And Jesus spoke to the tomb where Lazarus had been for three days, and he said, Rise and come out. And Lazarus rose from the dead. That's a believe it or not, isn't it? Yep, yep, absolutely. Well, let me read another story to you. Okay, listen very carefully. Here's another one for you that kind of goes along with the two verses that we read today. So this first one is from Matthew chapter 19. And these are the first few verses before we read our, our verse for the day. It said, 
then Jesus said to his disciples, Assuredly, I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? If it's that difficult, they're kind of saying, Who can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said, and here's our verse for today, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. You see, Jesus was talking about, if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven, it's really a very simple formula. Believe in me as the Lord and Savior of all. Put your faith and trust in me. That could be a believe it or not for some people. For some people, that's a believe it or not. You know, come on, I don't, I don't, I got to put my trust in this man? Well, that's what Jesus is saying. And, and I don't think, you know, I think, I think if, if you could find humor in Scripture, this might be it. When Jesus said, it is harder for a rich man to enter a kingdom of heaven than for a camel to go through an eye of a needle. And you know what a little needle looks like, right? And the eye of a needle. Can you imagine trying to put a camel through that little eye? I think that would be hilarious. And I think the apostles, when they heard Jesus say that, I think they busted out laughing so loud that they're like, oh, look, how can that happen? You can't take this big camel and put it through the eye of a needle. I think that's exactly what Jesus was trying to say. That's how difficult it is for some of us to get through the kingdom of heaven because we like what we have here on this earth. And all of this stuff here on this earth is going to go away someday. But with God, all things are possible. And you know, here's another verse that I know you know where it kind of seems, believe it or not, John 3.16 just tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. That's kind of a believe it or not. Not a Ripley's believe it or not, but a spiritual believe it or not. Are you going to believe that Jesus is your Savior? If so, you go to heaven. You go to heaven. It's that simple. It's that simple. Now, I've got to tell you something, though. You know, we have somebody who doesn't want you to go to heaven that's on this earth right now, and he's working at you right now in, 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 in and among you in your seats. He works at you at lunch. He works at you in the classroom. He works on you every single moment that he can, and that's Satan. He doesn't want you to go to heaven. He will do everything he can to disrupt your day, to make your life miserable. That's his goal. Because he doesn't want you to go to heaven. He wants you to go with him where we don't want to go, which is away from God. So it's very difficult for us to make sure that we stay focused on what we need to do and remembering Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Now I'm going to end, I'm going to end with one other scripture reading, and that goes with the other one that we read for today in Mark, Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9, 23, we read that earlier. It says, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Now, you need to understand that right before this, there was a boy who was ill. He, he was ill. He had evil spirits in him, and he was, he was being thrown on the ground, and he would go into convulsions, and and he'd shake all over, and the father came and said, Lord, can't you help my son? And he said, and, and, and Jesus says, I'm willing. And then he says, well, if you can. And Jesus kind of looked at him and said, if, because he didn't really know who Jesus was. And he said, anything can be done if you believe in me. So boys and girls, I'm just telling you right now, God can do anything for you if you believe in him. Does that mean he's going to do everything you want? No, not all the time. I could pray every day for a million dollars and I may never get a million dollars. But, but I don't know if I don't pray. And I don't know if I put my faith and trust. And if God knows that I'm going to use something to his glory and his power... You never know what he can do. And I'm sure that your teachers could share endless stories in their lives of how God has helped them through different, different times, good and bad. 
I could do the same thing. I could share endless stories of how God has affected my life because I've reached out to him in prayer because of my faith and trust in him. So I think you too know that the will of God can be carried out if you believe in him. So may your faith be strong in all that you do. May you continually grow. And the Bible is not a Ripley's Believe It or Not. It's a belief. It's a belief. And so when we read scripture, it's something that we want to put into our hearts forever. And God knows what our hearts are, are all about. He can, re, he can see what's in our heart. So my prayer for you is that you have great strong faith to grow in, in the faith and knowledge of Jesus all the days of your life. Please fold your hands by your heads and we're, and please, and we're gonna pray right now. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We know that you have everything in this world under control. But we also know, Lord, that we need to lean on you in our faith lives. We ask that you would uh, continue to guide and protect us and guard our faith and lead us to the path of righteousness every single day of our lives. Lord, help us to fix our eyes on the cross of Jesus, knowing that's where we gain our faith and our strength in you. We pray, we pray you this day that you would uh, watch over us, be with us if we have family members that are sick or ill. Be with our family if we travel or if we go from place to place. But Lord, help us to continue to grow throughout this school year in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. All right. It seems like so much to resist the temptations of the devil, to fight against that sin, and I can't do it because the Bible verse says with people it's impossible, but with our defender, right, all things are possible. The devil fights against to get us, and Jesus fights back. He is our defender fighting against the power of sin, death, and the power of the devil. It is to him we sing. Sixth graders, go ahead and stand, are going to add our drums today. Stand, everybody. And you can drum on your legs as we sing that God fights for us. Quietly we begin. Though I walk, though I walk, through the valley of the shadow. And I stand face to face with the enemy. I will know that I am not forsaken. You surround me when the fire is at my feet. You're my defender. You fight for me. I can see you when the night is closing in. I will trust you when it seems that there's no hope. Oh, and I hold tight to the promise you have given. Cause this I know, and I am confident. You're my defender. You fight for me.
We pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the benediction, you may look at somebody, you may look at uh, a friend in the pew, maybe someone beside you or behind you, and give the sign of the cross as we close our chapel service today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Remember that motto of the great state that you live in, with God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Have a great day, Royal Redeemer. Have a seat. I have some announcements for you. And for those of you in the classroom, these are for you also. We're going to take just a few minutes, Jack, so you can relax. But thank you so much for being ready. All right. Not this Sunday, but the next Sunday is when God says we get to bring God's word into his house and be the ones that share it. Mr. Lurkey just shared God's word with us this morning. But not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, you get to be the ones carrying God's word in song to all the people. When we have God's word, it creates faith and it strengthens faith. So it is a huge honor that we get to come and sing. So I have a couple reminders for all of you so I can say it all at once. Your job when we sing is to... Sing, exactly, exactly. So I want you to think about being up here. You will be standing up here to sing, looking that direction. Let's pretend. Do you guys remember Mrs. Hudock? Yeah. She has a cute baby, Dorian. Dorian, let's pretend Dorian loves your song and he starts singing along in the background. He's going, ah, are you going to stop and go, oh, look at that cute baby, or are you going to keep singing? Keep singing. Now, what if an older child starts running up the aisle? I've seen it happen. Are you going to watch them or keep singing? Here was a cool thing that happened this morning. Do you realize you were so amazed by Clara's awesome singing? that we forgot to sing, and that's normal. That's why we practice with our awesome solos, because what, didn't she do it? Give her a round of applause. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So now, the next time we hear her sing, we won't forget to sing ourselves, because we'll know what is coming. So when we are singing, there's a couple of things to remember. You need to watch me, 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 not because it's all about me, it's all about God. I just want to keep you together, especially when we're drumming. You might start drumming faster because you get excited or nervous and you start drumming faster, but we all have to watch so we stay together. So we watch and we sing. Those are our jobs. Um, those of you in the classrooms, I will show you this next week. Go ahead, if we could put up any words that will be for one of our songs. How about the first slide of Christ is All. Look at the back screen if you are here in church today. Those of you that are at, in the classrooms, I'll show you this next week. Look at the screen back here. This is what you're going to see. The white words are the words we're on. The yellow words are the next words that are coming. Does that make sense? You don't look at this all the like, oh, but we have Mr. Von Hoff. <laughs> the tech crew is helping. What color words do we sing? What color words do we sing? What words are coming up? Yellow. So I want you, that'll look the same. Eyes back up here. That will look the same in here. 
as in the gym where we go to sleep. The gym. Some of you worship here on Sunday, and you can picture what it looks like in the gym when we have worship in there. Others of you have only ever gone to Mrs. Trucio's class in the gym. On Sunday, the gym is all set up for worship. Here's the funny thing about singing in the gym. The sound moves differently in the gym. When you go to sing, we start singing, Christ is all, and you might feel like, is anyone around me singing? I don't hear them. You won't hear them. You won't hear them as clearly. You'll hear them a little bit. Lightly put your hands over your ears. Don't put it hard. Lightly put your hands over your ears. That's what if it's going to feel like in the gym. Let's sing Christ is all and in all. Ready, go. Christ is all and in all. Christ is in our lives. Hallelujah. So you might feel like, is every, yes, everyone else is singing. I'm waiting. Everyone else is singing. You keep singing just because you don't hear them the same. That is fine. All right, I wrote myself a list of notes because you know me. I like my list and I want to make sure I don't forget anything. We talked about sound of the gym. We talked about the words. Your job is to watch. Sing! Exactly! Don't get distracted. Here we go. One last trivia thing. What do you think the fist means? When I, as your director, say the ending. Let's do a little of the ending of Christ is All. Then we'll have Clara come up and we'll do a quick run through it. This is the ending. Christ is All. Ready? At the end you do Christ is All and in all. Christ is in our life. Hallelujah. We would do it again. Do you see that word repeat? That's your cue that we're almost to the end of the song. Do it again. Christ is all. Now, are your hands up? Ready? Again. Christ is all and in all. Christ is in our life. Ha repeat. Christ like we're surprised. I'll put up my fist to remind you it's coming. Let's sing that big part. Christ is in our lives. Make it huge. You see the fist? You're going to go and this is this part. Ready, go. Christ is in our lives. Add the older kids. Christ is in our lives. Ready, the ending, go. Christ is in our lives. We wait. Two hallways go. Hallelujah. Oh, so crisp. Hallelujah! Yes, fourth, sixth, and eighth, I could hear your part. When you see the fist, it means we're almost at the end. One run through. Clara, come on down. Stand up. This time, don't be distracted by her awesome singing. Be ready to sing with her. There are a few other soloists that I will announce in some of my upcoming class periods also. Thanks for doing this for us today, Clara. We are ready to run it from the beginning. Um, would you, if we want to go to that first slide, awesome. Clarence starts. Oh, okay. Christ is all in all. Get ready. Christ is in Get your hands. Get your hands. Take it away. Christ is all. Step, step. Oh, step. Ready? Your entrance. Hands. Ready? Go. Christ is all. Oh, I think you can be stronger. Ready? Go. Christ, Christ is all. Oh, I'm tricky. No shouting, though. Strong, but no shouting. Ready? Go. Christ, Christ is all. And in all. That's it. Ready? From the beginning. Be ready. Go. That is beautiful, but I need to be ready. So good. <laughs>
that get to share God's word and do it to the best of our ability. Great, thank you. All right, a message. <gasps> this is an exciting message because I get to see these ladies practice volleyball sometimes during the week and see them prepare. The fifth and sixth grade volleyball team. Sixth grade girls, come on down. Mrs. Lucky would have you come down, don't you think? Give these sixth graders a round of applause. Come on down. Fifth grade, pretend that we are applauding you also. They have home games this weekend. That means that two other, a couple other teams are coming. They're gonna play two teams. The fifth graders are gonna play two teams. That means we have four volleyball games at Royal Redeemer on Saturday morning. So if you wanna come out and cheer them on, we'll be right here this weekend and next Saturday, and they will do a great job. All right, so if you see them in the hall, these are the people to say, good luck, play hard, all right? Give them a round of applause. Oh, that was good. All right. Thank you all. We remember God's message. We've got a lot of good news, people. We take it into the world. Go ye, go ye into the world and make disciples of all the nations. Go ye. Go deep into the world, and I will be with you. There, stand up. I am the vine. I am the vine. You are the branches, ever the fruit to bear. I am the light. I am the light. You the reflection everywhere. Go deep, go deep into the world, and make disciples of all the nations. Go deep, go deep into the world. Have a great week in the Lord.